Welcome back to our channel, YouTube Essence. This is the complete CapCut video editing tutorial for beginners. We are going to show you step-by-step -step guide on how to do editing in CapCut from the start to the end. At the end of this video, I'm sure you will be able to start your own project in CapCut. If you have not installed CapCut, you can install the app on the Play Store or Apple Store. If you are using a laptop or PC, you can search on Google and install the app. I have already installed, but, it seems like I have an update. So let's update the app so we can use the most up-to-date version of the app. As soon you open CapCut, just run through your app settings. It will open up in English language, but if you need, you can change it to a different language. As you can see on the screen, there is a list of different languages that you can choose from. Then, the most important setting in the app is default ending setting. With the default ending on, it will keep cap cut watermark at the end. I'm sure if you are creating your own content, you don't need to keep that. So, what you need to do is, turn the default ending setting off. Then you can add any video for end as of your choices. Open CapCut and add the primary video onto the timeline. I have added a photo as the video footage, because I can show you few editing tips. When you click the timeline video, it highlights, so you can pull towards your right, so that you can increase the length of the video as you want. You can see the cap cut ending mark at the end. That is because we have not turned off the default ending option on the settings. So, you can delete it even here. Now let's see the interface and layout of our screen. We have got the main video on the screen and above that our video resolution. Then, next to that upload button. We will cover more about these buttons later in this tutorial. OK. Now here you can see play button, keyframes, undo and redo buttons on the side. Here is full screen button which you can use to maximize our video to playback. Then we have all our settings, adjustments and effects at the bottom. Video formats or the aspect ratio. When we talk about video formats, various social media platforms use different formats. Obviously you know YouTube use 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Different devices can use different aspect ratios. Landscape format is 16 by 9. And the portrait format is 9 by 16. TikTok, Facebook, Twitter and other social media use 1 to 1 or 3 to 4 formats. You can choose the aspect ratio of your video using format option. As you can see here, when you click the video mainstream on the timeline, menu options at the bottom changes accordingly. If you want to remove certain parts of your video, you can use split option. Split option splits the video at the point where your video on the timeline. Animation is a key aspect of the video creation. You can choose the way your video footage moves at the beginning, end or both together as combo. There are plenty of animation options available in CapCut. Animation is a bigger subject that we will cover in a separate tutorial. There are quite lots of style effects on CapCut. From particle disappear to comic, cartoon and manga effects and many more you can choose for your creation. Color grading in filters is a key aspect of your video editing. This is very important, 
because with the color grading you can draw complete attention of the people watch your videos, and how people will feel about the video that they watch. If you want to add filters and change the appearance of your video footage, you can choose various vivid filters in the filters section. Movies, night, nature, B and W and many more filters are available for free to use. If you want to adjust the color of your video footage, you can do it manually using adjust option. As you can see here, you can change the features like brightness, contrast, exposure, sharpness etc. This is a great tool that you can play around with. Adding mask into your video. Now, if you are new to the cap cut, you need to know that with masking you can do lots of things in your editing. There was misunderstanding among creators that mask can only be used on overlay. That is not correct. Mask can be used in any of your layers, either on the main video lay, or overlay or even on text layers you can use mask. We will do a separate video on how to use mask on your videos. Anyway, as you can see here, there are few different shapes of masks available on CapCut. Circle, heart, star or rectangular shapes of masks can be used. If you want to use cinematic effects of having two black stripes on the top and the bottom of your film, then you can use film strip mask. After adding the mask, you can use two fingers to maximize the area under the mask, then using double arrow mark, you can merge two layers together without having sharp edge of the mask. Overlay. Overlay can be added when you want to play scenes over another scenario in your video. So, two videos can be played simultaneously on the same screen. Overlay footage can be added separately from your video collection or you can convert a part of the main video stream onto the overlay. Once you add the overlay, using two fingers you can resize the video into any size as you want. Chroma Key Use chroma key to lower the intensity of a color or to remove a color completely from that layer. Common practice of using chroma key is removing the green background of any video or a subscribe button. Complete tutorial of using chroma key can be found in the description and here. Texts. When you create your own TikTok or YouTube video, text inputs plays a vital role. Because, the message you need to communicate with your audience, can clearly and directly be done with texts. CapCut is a great tool to add text to your video. There are lots of fonts that you can choose, and also, varieties of built-in styles and effects are available for you to use.
animation is a key aspect of using text in your videos. There are whole lots of different text animation options are also available in CapCut. It is always a joy to play around with text animation. Audio. You can add any audio to your creation. If you do not want to hear that horrible background noises in your video, you can mute that using volume button. Once you mute that, you can add any music into it as of your choice. Simply click add music, then you will have the option of adding music which is in your music store or you can voice over or you can extract music from another video. There are lots of sound effects also available for you to use. You can use video effects, stickers and plenty of other video and sounds effects in CapCut. Resolution and Frame Rate. In CapCut, you have the option of choosing the video resolution from 480 pixels to 4K. Also the frame rate can be between 24 to 60. Higher the resolution, clearer the picture quality and higher the frame rate will create a smoother video. But higher resolution and frame rate video requires more space to save it. I hope you have gained complete understanding of how CapCut works and thereby, now you will be able to create your own top quality video. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, so that you won't miss any of our tutorials. Don't forget to add a comment below if you have any questions.